Hello, welcome to Talk Math. Today we're going to be doing the 2021 AMC 12A problem number 18. Now this problem gives us f of x, y is equal to f of x plus f of y, and I saw this, I immediately thought of natural log. And then, however, the next stipulation shows that f of p must equal p for prime p. And sadly, that removes the ability for that function to be worked. So now I have which of the following is equal to is f of x negative? So f of 17 over 32, f of 11 6, and so on, which of those is negative? Well, how do we start this? Well, let's just start with what we know. We know f of 2 is equal to 2, f of 3 is equal to 3. Well, what about f of 1? Do we know anything about f of 1? Well, if we think about it, we know that, we, let's use this first rule. We have f of 1 has to equal f of 1 plus f of 1. Because if we bring these together using the first rule, we see that these are multiplying together. Well, we can subtract f of 1 from both sides, and we get 0 is equal to f of 1. Well, so that's a useful rule to know. So you have f of 1 is equal to 0. And there's many ways to figure that out, but this is just one of those ways. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, let's play around with the answer choices. So let's start with a. Well, we know that f of this is going to be equal to f of 17 plus f of 1 over 32. Okay, well, f of 17 is 17. And f of 1 over 32 is the same thing as f of 1 half plus f of 1 half plus f of 1 half five times, or 5 times f of 1 half. Well, how can we find f of 1 half? Well, if we realize we want to, we want to use this rule again, because if we had a 1 half here, and let's just say we had an f of 2, we multiply those to get f of 1, and we already know f of 1. So we have f of 1 half plus f of 2 must equal f of 1. But f of 1 is 0, so we have that, and f of 2 is 2, so we have that f of 1 half plus 2 has to equal 0, so that means that f of 1 half has to equal negative 2. Okay, well, plugging that in, we have uh, 17 minus 10 is going to give us a 7. And so the clearly a is not negative. But now that we figure this out, we can do the same process for each of the following. So on b, we already know that f of 1 half is negative 2, so we're going to this b is going to be 11 minus 4 times 2, which is going to be equal to 3, still not negative. Okay, this one, we need to figure out what f of 1 third is. Well, by the similar logic, we have that f of 1 third is going to be equal to negative 3, so we're going to have a 7 minus 2 times 3 is equal to 1, still not negative. Okay, here we know that f of 2 is negative 2, and then f of, sorry, f of 1 half is negative 2, and f of 1 third is negative 3, so f of 1 half plus f of 1 third is going to be negative 5. So that means we have 7 minus 5, which equals 2, still not negative, so probably going to be e, but let's check it just to be sure. We have uh, f of 25 is going to be 2 times f of 5, and f of 5 is 5, so this is going to give us 10 minus f of, sorry, plus f of 111. But by a similar reasoning, f of 111 is going to be negative 11. So we have 10 minus 11, which equals negative 1, which is indeed negative, so our answer is e. So thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more like it, and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below.